Um, good morning, everyone. Thanks for coming. Uh, due to complications still involving my knee, um, at this moment I will be retiring from professional basketball. I uh, just want to make a few things clear to everyone. This is uh, a new injury, and by new I mean no one within the club, including myself, knew about this injury going into the season. Uh, I don't think it has anything to do with the most recent EC, uh, ACL reconstruction I had, but more to do with the numerous injuries and surgeries that I've had over the past five years on this left knee. Uh, as it stands right now, the cartilage in my knee isn't healing. I have a reoccurring scar tissue issue um, in the knee, and three different doctors, one being here in Romania and two from the States, have recommended that I discontinue playing at this level. Uh, and their opinion is that if I were to continue to play at this level, that I would seriously put my future quality of life in jeopardy. And that's not something that I'm willing to do at this moment. Coach Nick and Mircea have been nothing but supportive uh, throughout this process. They both know that it's, uh, for me, it's a very, very hard situation. It's hard for me to accept. It's hard for them to accept. Uh, you know, Mircea and I have been through a lot. Good uh, and bad. Good and bad, that's for sure. And it has nothing to do with the surgery that was completed here in Romania. The doctors here in Romania did a great job on Steve and I's knees. Uh, the treatment was very good and I did everything that I possibly could uh, to get back and, and be healthy for this season. I'm going to miss playing uh, probably more than I've missed anything uh, in my life. I'm going to miss being a part of a team, I'm going to miss my teammates. Uh, more importantly though, I'm going to miss the people here in Cluj that have treated me as part of their family since I've been here in Romania. And I just want to say thank you for everything that you've done. Thank you for the opportunity. Um, you know, I don't know what my legacy or how I'm going to be remembered here in Cluj. Uh, I hope that it's that I was a fighter, that I continue to overcome adversity, try to be a part of this club, try to be a part of this team, and that I was a champion, and that we had that together a couple years ago. And I hope that uh, that's what I'm what I'm uh, remembered for. And, you know, maybe if, if I was given, my mind was given a different body, I'd still be, still be playing, you know, because in my mind, I, I feel like I can still do it. But right now, I think it's, it's best for me to take some time, try to heal my body, and decide what I'm going to do moving forward. So I'll, I'll let Coach speak to that. Just to reiterate what Coach said, this is, anyone that knows me knows that this is all I've, I've done. This is all I've loved pretty much up until this point. I poured all my energy, all my resources, anything that I could into getting better, getting healthy, being able to play, uh, and I wouldn't take any of it back. You know, this is exactly where I, I want to be, this is what I love to do. But when I went into surgery and the doctors told me, your knee is in very bad shape, there's a chance that it won't heal. And for me, if it doesn't heal, it looks like a 40-year-old's knee. This is his exact words. When that hits home, when you're 26 years old, and you realize you still want to have a family, you still want to be active, you still want to lead a life of playing basketball for fun, you know, going on hikes for fun, running for fun, being a part of activities, when you still want to do that, you have to really think and reconsider things. You know, I don't... Basketball will eventually end for, for everyone that played. It always does. Uh, it's just a matter of time. Some guys have 15, 20 year careers. Some guys have two year careers, one year careers. But for me, when they start talking about quality of life moving forward, it's, it's pretty much a, a no brainer. You know, I'm not willing to sacrifice the next 60 years of my life for five. Five more years, six more years, whatever it would be. That, that's if I was lucky, you know, and, and I could continue to play that long. So for me, it's, it's very strenuous. It's a very sad decision, especially because I know what kind of player I could have become under coach. Um, you know, 
know, it didn't make it easy, but again, it made it a little bit easier when they were saying, you know, you could really damage your life moving forward. And it wasn't a question. What are your plans for the future? Um, you come back to your country, I guess. Yeah, so I'll go home and I'll spend, you know, now it's coming up the big holiday season in the United States. So I'll spend the next month or so with my family, just kind of uh, clear my head a little bit, try to let this sink in because, you know, I had a conversation with Coach earlier last week, I think. It, it still hasn't really hit me yet, you know. I'm sure it'll hit me when I'm getting on the plane going home, like this is the last time that I'll be playing. Um, but I'll just take some time, think about some things, consider what it is that I may like to do moving forward, and then apply myself to that, whatever I choose to do, the same way I did the basketball up until this point. Maybe you will start coaching it's a possibility, you know, I just have to see what options are out there, uh, what opportunities look like the best, and, and make a decision from there. Do you have a message for the fans? Because uh, in their memory, you will remain with uh, that game with Yeah. I mean, the fans, you, you are a special group of people here. Um, I, don't, I can't really put into words what you guys bring to this team. You know, you guys are so involved in everything we do. You guys try to support us through the good and bad, which isn't always easy to do, you know. And I'm just happy that we all were able to share the championship a couple years ago. You know, that feeling of everybody together, everybody on this team, even though I was new, I knew how hard Mayor should have worked, Silva had worked, Powell had worked to get to this point, and how many times they had been turned down in the past. So that was a special moment, and I just want to say again, thank you for everything that you've done for me. Uh, thank you for welcoming me, coming into your country and your city, and uh, I won't forget you guys, and I hope you don't forget me.